Hello everybody, welcome to Morningstar News. Um, let's get into this. So there's rumors that Apple might release AirPods Studios this week. Um, that's kind of surprising coming out of nowhere. We'll see. But I'm kind of interested in them. Um, I watched a movie with my, um, my over the uh, ear earphones last night. And I mean, the sound was a lot better than the AirPods Pro. And, you know, <laughs> for movies and honestly, music and stuff like that, I'm a bit of an audiophile, but not completely. But I do like good sound. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see about these. All right. So Cyberpunk 2077 comes out tomorrow. And it looks like um, a bunch of the news outlets are... Uh, able to release the reviews today um so uh that's something to look forward to i'm not gonna read too much of them um just gonna probably stick to the people i actually follow um but uh we'll see what they have to say it seems like the main storyline isn't too involved but there's a lot of side quests which i mean that sounds pretty cool let you do a lot of things you know on your own um so that's cool. Honestly, even though you can customize the main character, I'm not really interested in playing that character. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we'll see. I guess the last thing I'll mention that was mentioned in this review is, um, because it's, you know, expected, but, you know, there's lots of bugs. But, I mean, it's been delayed so much and everything. You'd hope that they, you know, figure a lot of stuff out, but... You know, there's always going to be something. There's always going to be something. Okay, so Bunnelby, I hope I'm saying that right, is a cute Pokemon. But, like, its evolved form, I am not a fan. Not a fan. Alright, so Super Mario World, it does look really cool. But, um, as this article says, it looks kind of tiny. And that's kind of disappointing, I guess. I mean, it still looks like someplace uh, next time we go to Japan, definitely going to check it out. But, you know, <laughs> it's Nintendo after all. But, yeah, we'll see how, how it is um, when, the, when people actually get to go see it. <laughs> Hopefully it can still open on time. Real-time brain-computer interface. I mean, sign me up. Um, I'm not sure you know the practical applications of this but it looks pretty interesting um to see if only to see what other people can do with it um it's you know early technology and obviously if it catches on or people figure out some things um they'll be able to do some interesting things with it but you know i'm glad to see this kind of stuff coming out all right so I am on board with this KFC <laughs> Mario Lopez lifetime drama thing. Like, sign me up. <laughs> uh, Mario Lopez is kind of hot. Just saying. A recipe for seduction. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some business news. So Walmart and Sam's Club are selling these um, at-home COVID tests, which I mean, that's kind of cool. I just hope that it's not taking away from anyone else, if you know what I'm saying. Or, you know, when you send in these tests, is this taking away from evaluating tests of people who really need it? I say really need it because I'd be getting these tests even if I show the littlest of symptoms. And, you know, people with <laughs> OCD like me <laughs> and just people who want to be extra cautious, um, if you have the money, you're gonna do it, but is it necessary? All right, so a uh, quick disclaimer, I guess. I own Apple stock, so this uh, this news is good for me, um, but Apple stock is up 1.23%. Uh, um, and with whatever surprise announcement they got coming out um, this week, I guess, um, maybe that'll go up even more. Um, nobody's really anticipating anything, I don't think. Um, so that could just be any news is good news, um, any new products. So, um, we'll see. All right, let's take a look at some technology headlines. So y'all know that iPhone dropped, uh, dropped the charging brick in their, in their iPhone offerings this year. And it looks like, uh, Samsung is following suit. Um, so I guess, you know, this is the new trend. 
personally, I have a lot of the bricks and all I need is a cord at this point. So, you know, it's kind of okay. And I understand where they're going with it. And the knockoff ones aren't bad at this point. I know initially um, they didn't do all they needed to do, but uh, now it's fine. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, <laughs> coming in uh, January of next year. Um, so, you know, right around the corner. This is apparently an old game um, that I guess came out alongside the movie way back when, um, but they're releasing it on the major uh, platforms and whatnot. Um, so it might be interesting. If y'all don't know, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, my favorite movie. <laughs> Time for some entertainment headlines. Death to 2020, a uh, Black Mirror mockumentary coming to Netflix. A lot of big names associated with this too. So, I mean, it looks kind of interesting. <laughs> All right, and that's it for today. Take care.